The United States Senate just passed a $1.2 trillion infrastructure package, the largest upgrade to the country's roads, bridges, pipes, ports and broadband in decades. The package contains $550 billion in entirely new investments, including money for electric car charging stations and zero-emission school buses. The spending is mostly paid for, without raising taxes. The bulk of the funding comes from repurposing unspent coronavirus relief money and tightening enforcement on reporting gains from cryptocurrency investments. The bill would add about $256 billion to the debt, according to the Congressional Budget Office. The plan garnered significant support from both Democrats and Republicans in the Senate, but there are still a few steps to go before it becomes law. It must also pass the House of Representatives, where tweaks are expected. Then the House and Senate will hash out their differences before sending a final bill to President Biden. While the final bill might change somewhat, here is a rundown of what is in the two, 700 pages of the Senate's Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Total new spending. $550 billion. The bipartisan bill is a lot less than the $2.3 trillion Biden initially asked for in the spring, but it is still a significant amount of funding for the next five years. The senators often like to refer to the bill as a $1.2 trillion package because they are also counting funding that is normally allotted each year for highways and other projects. The spending is partially paid for with unused COVID-19 relief dollars, unused federal unemployment aid, sales of spectrum and oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, increased fees for some Superfund sites and customs, and delaying a Medicare expense for a year. Some money would also come from tighter enforcement to ensure cryptocurrency investors pay taxes once they sell and realize their gains. Budget experts say the bill is likely to add about $350 billion to the deficit over the next decade. On top of SIBO's forecast, they say another $90 billion must be included since the bill authorizes that spending even though it is not technically counted as spent. How many jobs would it create? Senators and the White House are touting the huge number of jobs this bill would help generate. Many construction jobs do not require college degrees, though they do require some special skills. Mark Zondi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics, estimates growth of about 660,000 jobs could result by 2025. Interestingly, construction has been one of the few slow job growth industries in recent months. The bill includes funding and provisions to get more job training programs going and to get more women into the construction and trucking industries. What happened with crypto? The bill was held up for several days over a debate about a provision that would require more stringent reporting of cryptocurrency gains and losses to the Internal Revenue Service.